everyone to Tomb Raider. So now that we've finished off my favorite level, St. Francis Folly, we're now going to move on to the Coliseum. Of crocodiles? Well, not so much crocodiles. Uh, lots of lions, lots of gorillas. Like, yeah, like you will see. I mean, it's literally like this, like, underground Coliseum. And... We get a devil! More lions! Well... Okay. Yeah. Hard to see. Okay. Does that lion... Okay, question. I, 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 kinda hard to tell. Did that lion have a mane? Um, uh, probably? Uh... I mean, you I mean, you, you can't see... I mean, yes, this game does offer both. Like, you know, male and female lions. Okay, so that's, you can't... that's what I was gonna ask. Okay. Yeah, you, there is a difference. It's, it's just, you kinda gotta go, like, really up close to actually see the little tuft of pixels in its head. <laughs> but why, but, but then again, getting close to a lion, probably not the best idea. It actually, it actually reminds me of this, of this, of this, um, this picture that I saw of um, a, a Christian book about, you know, about uh, Moses. Well, not Moses, um, fuck, what was it? Uh, the Ark? What was his name? Noah. Noah, thank you. Oh. Um, and, like, the picture showed, like, all, like, all, like, you know, the two of every animal going, like, you know, walking onto the ark, and it showed the lions, except it was two male lions. Wait. Like, they both oh, had names. I saw that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> well, so much, well, so much for that species. So, good, good to know that Noah supports gay lions. <laughs> good it's for like, good on, good on you, but now the lions are extinct. <laughs> and without the lions, who's gonna make the lion king? Right. Yep, so. Okay, so the Coliseum, this is a level where, kind of like with St. Francis Folly, you've really got to be careful of where you're stepping. Because there's a lot of, like, um, dangerously high ledges. So be mindful of where you walk. Because, yeah, one, yeah, if you, you're not careful, you can easily fall off and die. I was low-key hoping you were, you'd say, be careful where you step, there's a lot of landmines. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. I think that would become a completely different game if that was the case. Test your take control skills by controlling Laura Croft in a minefield. <laughs> will you will you tur Will you go right or will you go left? Make your choice. <laughs> Trick question. Yeah, well Both ways lead to lead the mines. Okay, alright, I'll just go straight forward then. Oh god! <laughs> it's like well, Fuck! that one leads that one leads to lions. <laughs> Fuck. Oh god <laughs> Left to mine, right to mine, straight to lion. Fuck. <laughs> that, that would actually be fucking hilarious. It's like, yeah, it's like you're going through a minefield in a video game. It gives you it's like, okay, you, you think you went the right way by going straight, but no, you just get you just get pounced on by a lion. It's like, at that point, the only, the only right way is just to go back. Fuck this. Going home. <laughs> F fuck this, I'm out. Well, I had to go back because, you know, again, we gotta climb up higher, you know, because where we just were, where we got pounced on by the lion, there's a gate. So, you know, at least we cleared out the lion, so we don't have to worry about that thing for when we do eventually open the gate. But, you know... That's kind of, you know, that's kind of what happened with the jump cut there. So, you know, we just went back to where we were before. Like, it was just, I jumped up, like, another, an, blah, an extra ledge so that I can get in here. And I hear purring. I, I can hear you snoring all the way from here. Can you keep it down? Oh, God. Oh, wait, those are crocodiles. Ah! It's like, yeah, purring crocodiles. Okay. <laughs> Shit. My God, they do some really good lion impersonations. My God, they, yeah, they they make you they, they they make you think it's a lion, but no, it's a crocodile. I don't know. Oh God, I don't know which was worse. <laughs> Croc a lion. What? They just come here and take your bullets. I I have your I have your uh, daily dose of bullets ready for you. There we go. Got him. <laughs> Ha boots. They look like a twelve. I don't know what size of what size what size foot do you think Garcraft is? Yeah, 
probably, uh, I want to say maybe, I'm just going to say eight. Okay. You know, I'm actually. A se- I don't know, I'm, I'm a seven and a half, so it's like, I guess that's average? I don't know. Uh, uh, probably. I mean, I'm a, I mean, I am actually a size 12. Which is weird. Well, you're, which is weird. Well, well, you're, the, well you're, you're a big guy, so it's like, you know. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm a size 8, so sure, why not? <laughs> so I, actually, you know what? Speaking of which, it's like, um, recently I, I actually just beat um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And okay. um, one, of the, one of the big things about the game is that every character you play as uh, has like their own like favorite food as well as favorite hobby. That, okay. you have, that you have to find out for yourself, and that and that and after going through all that, that kind of just makes me think. Okay, what is like what is like the random little favorite thing of whatever for every character in video games? I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, like, what what is this character's favorite food? What is their favorite hobby to do when they're not adventuring? Right. Like, what do you think Laura Cro- what do you think Laura Croft fa- Laura Croft's favorite food is? Like, I don't know. She, 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 she oh, looks, we're in she, the co- well, we're in the Coliseum. Laura, Laura looks kind of like a, a T-bone steak kind of gal to me. Probably. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, she definitely, pr- definitely needs some meat. Yep. All right. Oh yeah. And oh. Son, and son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! I, I thought I don't know. I thought for a second the lions were shooting at you. What the hell? <laughs> it's like, They're adapting. It's like, it's like no, Pierre is here as well. So, damn it! Like... Oh, hold up! I got to heal. There we go. <laughs> it's like Lion versus Laura Croft. Ready and fi- up oh, here comes our new challenger. God, you know, you know right, what? Watch, watch, new see, challenger is kind of irrelevant with Pierre. Seeing you pause, seeing you pause the screen like that, and then doing something while in the midst of a shootout actually reminds me of a joke that I wanted to do for Smash Adventures at one point, and probably w- w- I still, I think I still wanted to do it at some point. I, I just gotta make another opportunity to do it. Um, you guys may not remember, but do you remember in the second episode when Link, Fox, Falco, and Luigi were, fa- were facing off against Bowser, uh, Wolf, and Leon? Uh, I believe yeah. so, yes. There was a part w- where the fight first started where, uh, fa- where Wolf and Leon were literally, like, were literally juggling, um, I think it was Luigi and Link together. Like, like they were kicking them into each other and bouncing them back and forth until someone uh, interrupted yeah. that. Yeah, I think I could remember that. There was a joke that I originally wanted to do, but didn't really have the proper resources to do, to do then, but could do now. Where, while that was happening, I wanted, like, for the screen to randomly pause, and then for, like, the Ocarina of Time main menu to come up, and then just to see Link, like, scroll over to, like, the Iron Boots, <laughs> just so we can, just so we can stop it, just f- fall right where he is, and just, ca- and, and, and then just stop it entirely. Oh my god. <laughs> They'd be like breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll have to try. I'll have to try to incorporate that joke at some point. Like maybe like have the same exact situation happen again, but this time Link's just like no. <laughs> that would be pretty damn funny. That 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 would. All right. So yeah. So pretty much in all four corners here, uh, there are some uh, doorways that lead to rooms and shit. That it's like. You know, of course, they're closed now, so when we hit buttons and switches, they'll eventually open, and we'll go through them all. So just make your way, make your way around. Are those supposed to be, like, bleachers there on the side? Well, yeah, it's supposed to be, like, you know, yeah, like, stadium seating. But yeah, like, I, I, I understand for like that, but... Ri- for, ri- for, uh, really tall, uh, Roman people. Yeah, like, I'm about to say, like, yeah, I, I, I see that they're bleachers, but they look really big. Yeah. I don't know. I've actually never... I don't know. Maybe that is how big they are. I don't know. I've never been to a Coliseum, so I cannot say for certain. It's the Coliseum of Titans. I guess it is hard to say. I mean, they're prob- they probably didn't They probably didn't bother worrying about, you know, being able to lean back. They probably just wanted to make sure you could be able to sit and have enough room in front of you to be able to, you know, put your legs somewhere. Maybe. I mean, back I mean, the- it's like, I mean, it's like, you know, back in the day. I mean, yeah, these people they watched, they watched people just completely like either maul each other or get mauled by animals for fun, and they do that shit all day. Hmm. There we go. 
Alright, so... This fucking room! So this room, like you can see, so, um... We got switches, but we also have, like, uh, pressure pads that are timed. So right now, we are locked in this room. Oh. Uh... So that's where it's like, okay, you want to get through, it's like... So that door... I think it's like, um... Wait, is this the room I'm thinking of? No, oh, that must not be the room I'm thinking of. I must be thinking of a different room in this level, I think. Oh, I assume but, um, it's like farther ahead in the level? Farther ahead, yeah. But there is a room where it's like there's, uh, there's pressure pads that are timed. So you have to hit the pressure pads and you ha in like a certain order, and you have to run in order to get to the door before it closes on you. Uh, so I think, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, time that, I believe, yeah, I believe that is in this level. It's just, it, 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 mind you, it's been a very long time since I've seen, the, seen these videos, so it's like, I don't quite remember it off the top of my head, but I do believe it is in this level. It must be a little farther ahead. Oh, okay. No, I get ya. I just remembered because, like, you know, it took me, like, what? Five minutes or something, trying to get through this fucking door and like missing them just by like a millisecond, and then it's like I eventually got it. So I was like, "Well, that's five minutes I had to edit out." And oh shit, there's another one. Oh god, <laughs> it doesn't help the what? lions freaking blend into the background. That's scary as fuck. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> But it wasn't even making, like, any noise or anything, so it wasn't even, like, oh, it wasn't growling or anything, so I couldn't hear it. And, like, <laughs> I just turned the corner that means and it was, it was like, was oh, being a, that, that means it was being a lion. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah, I was right. Okay, so, yeah, here is that, here's that fucking room. Oh, okay. So, up, so up here is a pressure pad that's gonna open a door, that's gonna open the gates. Okay. Those gates are going to, those gates close after a certain amount of time. You have to go into one of these in order to hit a switch that will open up the door that will allow you out. Oh shit, 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 shit. Right. Gotta go, gotta then move, you... gotta move, gotta move! Can, yeah. can the closing gates kill you if you happen to be right underneath it? Uh, I do not think so. I uh -huh. think they just. I think they just boot you out. Honestly, that's the, that's the, that's, the, that's like the funniest death to me in any video game. Oh. Yeah. So that's pretty much the order. Like you have you you got to do it quickly, in order to go to go from one room, hit the switch, and get to the other room before those gates close. Otherwise, you got to do it all over again. Oh. God. And oh, that's I, not tedious at all. I, I thought those were candles for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep this place alight to this one particular pit. But yeah, no, that's like, you have to walk in this area, like, you know, just like, um, what was it? Just like in Tuma Qualapec and everything, like, if you run near spikes, it's an instant death. The only way you can traverse them is to walk through them. I don't use wax to light up my candles. I don't use wax for my candles. I use the blood of my enemies. Also, small little nitpick here. You know, I know people. I know people like to emphasize how deadly something is by how much by how much blood is spear is like stained on it. But I don't know. It, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe after blood, after a while, you know, it turns black, doesn't it? Uh, so. maybe. I I honestly have no or, idea. Or 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 a very dark brown. Like a, yeah, like, so a, like, a, like a like a dark maroon color. Maybe. Yeah, like, it, it does not stay red forever. No. Yes, I feel like whenever I see something that's stained red like that, that, that usually tells me, okay, it killed, that, that, so, something died on that very recently. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, no, it should be brown or something. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's some lines are probably, were very, very careful and ended up falling to their doom. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. It's like, it could be lions or gorillas. I mean, we still have them roaming around. Hard to say. Yeah, lions, tigers, bears, oh my. Oh, the dreaded oh my's. Oh my. <laughs> no, speaking of George, speaking of George Decay, I fucking love how, like, how, how much he's been tearing into Donald Trump recently. It's fucking hilarious, and I love it. <laughs> okay. Dude, dude, it's like, dude, everybody's been tearing in the Trump, so it's like, you know, what exactly makes that special? 
<laughs> yeah, but the way George Decay does it, there's a certain charm to it. This is true. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah you like, know what? You know, I could kind of, I could kind of say the exact same thing, thing with the Stephen Colbert. I haven't actually seen much of Stephen Colbert. I, I, I know he has a new show that he started a couple years ago. I haven't actually seen much of it though, or any of it actually. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I know my mother would turn on the Stephen Colbert show like every now and again, and from what I, from, from what I've been seeing, it's actually not bad. Stephen Colbert is actually pretty funny. Uh, well, yeah, he, he was funny on the Colbert show too before he left it. Like, um. I'm trying to think, what, what, is he still on Comedy Central, or is he on a different channel now? Ah, uh, oh. I do, I, I honestly it's, it, it's do hard, not It's hard know. for me to say, because I don't have cable or whatever, but I do know he's on regular TV now, with that late show. Yeah. He probably yeah. is, for all we know. Yeah, it's kind of like a, yeah, I'm in the same boat as you, Ryan. I don't have cable, so I don't really know. Like, my, my, my cable is, uh, Hulu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's the coolest thing. The cable I have as well, like Hulu or Netflix. Yeah, the sh- the, you know, the shows that I care about, they end up on Hulu. So that's my that's my TV source essentially. Uh, yeah, yeah, pl- yeah, pl- yeah. Plus, even even like way before like a Hulu or Netflix, I was good with just having regular TV because they they had enough entertainment for me to live on. Granted, if I had cable, it's like, okay, that would be an added bonus, because, you know, Cartoon Network, Toonami, all these other channels I would watch really good shows on. But, but yeah, considering how I've how long I've handled television, you know, without cable or whatever, yeah, even now I think I could live without going on, like, a, with, like, a Time Warner cable or, oh, I'm sorry, Spectrum. It's Time Warner cable turned into Spectrum now. And, you know, okay. all that jazz. Right. Well, that's the thing. That's like, you know, even like as far as like, I don't even watch like Adult Swim or like, I really, even like on Toonami, the only thing I really even watch, if anything, is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And it's like, you know, my mom and dad, they've got, you know, they've got satellite, I think it is. They got like Xfinity. So yeah. they got, um, so I've got it set up at their house that, you know, whenever I come over to visit, I got it. I've got JoJo's recording. So I'm still able to at least watch the new episodes of Stardust Crusaders when it comes out and stuff. Because, you know, I wanted to see how the dub was handled. So, I mean, it's like, I at least have a means to watch that. But that's really the only thing on, to- on Cartoon Network, really, that I don't even watch anymore. I mean, I even, like, stopped watching Steven Universe after a while. I mean, not because it's bad or anything. It's just, I just, I guess... I just, you know, got tired of trying to keep up with it after so many goddamn hiatuses. Well, to be fair on that, well, no, not to be fair, the hiatuses are pretty bad, but they are they are about to continue it here in a couple of days. That That's true. Yeah. That's really, like, the only thing with Steven Universe I think that really, really bugs me is that, you know... And I, I don't think that's their fault either. I think that's, car- I think, I think that's just Cartoon Network's thing. Like yeah, well, they're... Cart- well, Cartoon Network, from what I've been seeing from like channels like Saber Spark and everything, that's like, yeah, uh, Cartoon Network is in um, deep shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I don't think the hiatuses are a are a fault of the show. I think that's actually just Cartoon Network being dicks. God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or should well, I say su- sucking Teen Titan Go sh- dicks? Uh, yeah, I was about to say, why put on a very well done show like Steven Universe on on our block when we have shows like Teen Titans Go and Unikitty? That was Unikitty. You remember the Lego movie where we actually ran into that uh Lego uh kitten with a unicorn or whatever? I've never seen oh, that, that movie. Oh, that last second joke at the very end of the movie? Yeah, they yeah, they decided to turn that last second joke into a full blown spin off series. And it's not even stop motion animated, no, it is flash it is flash animated. Much like Teen Titans Go. Well never mind the fact that it's like flash animated or anything, I really don't give a shit how things are animated <laughs> well, nowadays. Oh yeah. It's yeah. but but it's like okay, PJ, you said you didn't you haven't seen the Lego movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, first of all, if you get the chance, you know, to see the Lego movie, it is quite good. It, 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 but yeah, the, it is really good for what it is. Yeah. But it's like, you know, at the very end of the movie, like, you see, like, you know, it goes beyond, like, the world of the Legos, and you see that it's like, you know, it's just, you know, it's a kid and his dad. They're playing Legos and everything, and it's like, it's a very heartwarming ending. And then you see, like, uh, Will Ferrell, who plays the dad, you know, he's like... 
he goes to his son. They're playing Legos and everything. And then he says, you know what we should do? We should invite your little sister to come play with us. And that's when you got, like, these, like, the little toddler Legos, like, that Unikitty comes in. But it's, like, there's, like, Kitty, like, you know, in a little baby voice and everything. He's like, I'm here to destroy you and everything. And, like, and, and, <laughs> yes. and, and that... And that's it. That's that's how the movie ends. Like it's just a joke. That it's like, oh god, don't invite the little sister. She will ruin everything. <laughs> so somehow you make a a spinoff series off of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unikitty. You know when they run into that uh, that happy-go-lucky world as your as uh, the main protagonist and the other main characters are trying to run away from from uh, oh, oh god, uh, god, what was the villain's name again? I forget. Oh, businessman, I think. I, I think it was businessman, yeah. Where they're yeah. trying to run away from businessman and his evil forces or whatever, and they go into hiding in a un, in a Unikitty's world, where the where I, the other. I, yeah, I, I got I gotta rewatch Lego Movie. It's been it's been a while since I've seen that, but yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. So so it's still kind of surprising that he, considering how well done the Lego Movie is, it wasn't even not nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, really. Because, yeah, you could clearly tell that a lot of effort was put into that movie, which I can appreciate it. Not just from a voice acting standpoint, but from a stop-motion animation standpoint. Right. Especially considering that for, that for a while, we've been seeing a lot of Lego um, forms of media, whether it be, like, video games or, more specifically, like, television shows, where clearly they're 3D animated or whatever, which, which seems relatively neat at all. But with but when you take the stop motion animation approach to something like Legos, which is something that a lot of people have already been doing on on YouTube or whatever, and with such high value that they put into the movie, it's like oh yeah, again it, from an animation standpoint, it's still pretty freaking good. Well, I think a Lego Movie, if I recall, it is technically three D animated. They just approached it as a stop motion film. You know, specifically to reflect, like, you know, yeah, when people would play with Legos and make the movie, their own, like, home movies and everything, and how they did it, they did it with stop motion. Yeah. And they specific they specifically chose to go down that path for the movie to, you know, reflect that, which makes total sense, you know, given, you know, the movie and all. Yeah. Yeah, c considering what they were working with here, and that being Legos. Right. Well, then again, I think it was, like, the Lego movie, like, a lot of people didn't, I don't think, like, a lot of people, like, really anticipated the Lego movie to be as good as it was. Because <laughs> everybody was just like, ah, Legos, yeah, whatever. Like, and uh, then the movie yeah, I'm more of a, I'm, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and then it's like, then the movie comes out, and they're like, oh my god, this movie's actually really good. <laughs> nah, whatever, like, it, I'm more of a Mega Bloggs kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. And that's like, um, what you call it? Well, then they made Lego Batman. Yeah, now, now, in regards to, like, legit Lego movies, that is a Lego movie I have yet to see. Yeah, Lego Batman was pretty funny. And it's like, I know they've been making movies of, like, other, like, Lego brands. Like, I think, like, what, they've done, like, Ninjago or something? Like, they've done, Ninja like... Ninjago, I think, had its own TV show for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Uh or something like I don't know. Like I, I just I could just see that it's like okay, it's another Lego property, and you know that's what they're you know that's uh that you know they're getting their movies. I think they're making a Le I think they're making a sequel to the Lego Movie. I think they are. I mean, it, it would surprise me if they didn't, considering how much you know everybody loves making fucking sequels and remakes nowadays. That's <laughs> right. Cash grabs. <laughs> Alrighty. So anyway, about that Tomb Raider. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, right. There's a Tomb Raider going on in the background. Uh, yeah. Lots of well, puzzles I mean, and shooting. And well, it's like I said, like, you know, we, you know, I just had to hit all the corners of the room. I got to, I, and all of that to get a key. So now we got to go back up to um, that center, like um, that center area. Like, I'm not quite sure what you call it, but it's like, yeah, that center room that that we yeah, you can't really see. But we were there before. We were shooting gorillas and stuff. There's a gate there that has a uh, that is locked. So now that we got the key, 
now we can actually go forward and get there. Oh, all right. But first, I want to make sure I kill all the things. All the things. Kill all the things with your guns. Are you shooting at a gorilla? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or, or yeah, yeah, maybe. It was, it was a, yeah, it was. A, it was. It's really hard to tell. Seeing as how, seeing as how that big ape ran into the darkness. So. so first things first. Take. First things first, let's save. Yeah. A, and, and pick up some health. The, a freaking crystal! <laughs> Get out of the way of my health. God, the way you had no. the camera pointed up like that, I was thinking like so, like that, that the ceiling was gonna fall right on top of you. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. God, don't, nah, you, God, those Colosseum traps—they'll get you. You know, I just, yeah. I, I just imagine. I, I know it's a save crystal, obviously, but I, I just imagine like you know, it, like Laura Croft sees this floating purple gem and it's just sitting here like cha-ching. <laughs> I don't know, if I saw a floating purple giant gem, I feel like that's, I feel like that's easy money. <laughs> oh, oh, so that's the sound of turning a key into a keyhole banks. Sounds like a chimpanzee or something. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, I kind of forgot that there was a crocodile there. <laughs> Until it was literally nom-nomming on my ass. Well, uh... Yeah, you're gonna. It's like you're either gonna sit and play the waiting game, or we're gonna have to brave it. I'll have to go on the other side. It's like yeah, pass me. You come fucking bra fucking brave it. Yeah, come on, Lord Croft. <laughs> Don't you can be do a this. you got this. Don't be a pansy. <laughs> okay, we'll do that too. I think you're better off with a rifle, because I mean, I, I know, like in um in Florida or places that are heavily croc like alligator or crocodile inf infested, like generally, I, I think rifles are generally seen as like the most effective weapons on crocodiles. Oh, okay. It wouldn't surprise me because I mean, have you seen rifle bullets? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, you could have just oh, you could have just swam through through this through these waters, even with the crocodile out. But no, <laughs> I think I could have, but I didn't. Really shoulda. Yep. And there you go. That's the end of the Coliseum. You know, admittedly, this is I thought I think one of the more boring levels. Like you know, probably like in the whole game, I really don't care all that much about the Coliseum. But regardless, uh, join us next time for a really lengthy level. Like, I shit you not, guys. This is gonna, the next video is gonna be almost an hour long. This is a long Christ. level. Christ! Uh, okay, but why, though? <laughs> you will, you will, you will see, uh, when we get there. So, yep, ladies and gentlemen, uh, join us next time as we enter the Palace Midas. Okay, I'm gonna okay, go, then. I'm gonna go grab some popcorn. <laughs> Thank you.